For more anatomy related videos please subscribe to my channel, Learn with Dr. Tanya Hashik. Hello everyone, in this video we will continue the anatomy of the nasal cavity. So today we will discuss about the lateral wall. So in the previous class we discussed about the septum, that is the nasal septum. So today we will discuss about the lateral wall of the nose. So this is the picture of the lateral wall of the nose and it is characterized by means of bony projections called as the conchas. So these are the conchas. And the lateral wall, it is characterized by the bony projections called as the conchas. So, they are shelf-like projection and it improves the quality of the air that is inhaled. So, this lateral wall of the nose, it separates the nose from the orbit above the maxillary sinus below the nasolacrimal canal and also the lacrimal groove. So, it separates the nose, that is, a, it separates the nose from the orbit of the eyes, the maxillary sinus, lacrimal groove, nasolacrimal canal. So, the lateral wall of the nose, it can be divided into three parts. So, the anterior part, it is characterized by a small depression and it contains small, short and curly hairs. And that part is called as the vestibule. So, the anterior part of the lateral wall of the nasal cavity is called as the vestibule and it is characterized by small short and curly hair and the middle part is called as the atrium of the middle meatus so it is a space in front of the middle meatus that is meatus it is a space below the middle concha so the space below the middle concha is called as the middle meatus and the space in front of the middle meatus is the atrium of the middle meatus atrium it composes the middle part of the lateral wall of the nose so next is the posterior part so posterior part it is characterized by body projections called as the concaves so they are superior concha middle concha and also inferior concha so they are bony like projection they are shelf like projection and below it there are spaces called as the meatus. So, below the superior concha, there is the superior meatus. The, below the middle concha, there is the middle meatus. And below the inferior concha, there is the inferior meatus. So, now we will discuss about the skeleton of the lateral wall. So, this is the picture of skeleton of the lateral wall. So, it is partly bony, partly cartilaginous and some part is made of soft tissue. So, the bony part of the lateral wall it contains the nasal bone the lacrimal bone the labyrinth of the ethmoid bone with superior and the middle concha and the inferior concha which is made of the spongy bone and also the perpendicular plate of the palatine with the orbital as well as the sphenoid processes so the bony part of the lateral wall they are the nasal bone the lacrimal bone the ethmoid bone with superior and middle conge and the inferior conga which is made of the spongy bone and also the perpendicular plate of the palatine with the sphenoid and also the ethmoid process and the cartilaginous part it is made up of the superior and inferior nasal cartilages and also three or more ala cartilages so the cartilaginous part of the lateral wall is made up of the superior and inferior nasal cartilages and also three or four ala cartilages. So now we will discuss about the conchis and also meatus. So conchis we have already discussed that they are bony like shelf like projections that are present in the posterior part of the nose. So they are bony like shelf like projection present in the posterior part of the lateral wall of the nose. So, there are three in number that is the superior conge, the middle conge and also the inferior conge and below there is a passage called as the meatus and below the superior conge there is the superior meatus, below the middle conge there is the middle meatus and below the inferior conge there is the inferior meatus and among this the superior conge it is the smallest of it and the superior and the middle conge it is the projection of the medial 
surface of the ethmoidal labyrinth. So, superior and the middle conge they are projection on the medial surface of the ethmoidal labyrinth. And the inferior conge it is a separate bone and it is made up of spongy bone. So, now we will discuss about the meatus. So, the inferior meatus it is a passage below the inferior conche and it is the largest of the meatus and the nasolacrimal duct it opens in the inferior meatus that is it opens between the anterior one third and the posterior two third. Next is the middle conche and so many structures opens in the middle meatus. So what are structures are they? They are the anterior and the middle ethmoidal sinus the maxillary sinus and also the frontal sinus. So these three sinuses opens in the middle meatus. That is the space below the middle conche. So which all are they? Anterior and the middle ethmoidal sinus, the maxillary sinus and also the frontal sinus. This opens below the middle conche. And below the superior conche opens the posterior ethmoidal sinus and above the superior conga there is a triangular shaped fossa called as the spinoethmoidal recess so this is a spinoethmoidal recess it is a triangular shaped fossa which is seen above the superior conche so now we will discuss about the blood supply the venous drainage and also the nerve supply so blood supply we have already discussed about the nasal septum so it is the same for the lateral wall of the nose also so if you have studied about the blood supply to the nasal septum it will be easy for you that is they both have the same blood supply so the lateral wall it can be divided into four compartments they are the antero superior the postero superior the antero inferior and also the postero inferior compartment so the antero superior compartment it is supplied by the anterior and posterior ethmoidal artery the antero inferior compartment it is supplied by the branches of the facial artery the postero superior part is supplied by the sphenopalatine artery and the postero inferior part it is supplied by the greater palatine artery and next is the venous drainage so veins they form plexus and anteriorly it drains into the facial vein and posteriorly it drains into the pharyngeal plexus so now we will discuss about the nerve supply so similar to the nasal septum the nerve supply is also the same so the antero superior part it is supplied by the anterior ethmoidal nerve the antero inferior part it is supplied by the anterior superior alveolar nerve the postero superior part it is supplied by the lateral posterior superior nasal branch of the pterygopalatine ganglion and the postero inferior part it is supplied by the anterior palatine branch of the pterygopalatine ganglion so today we discussed about the lateral wall of the nose so it has got three parts the anterior part is called as vestibule the middle part is called as the atrium of the middle meatus and the posterior part it has got concave that is the superior middle and the inferior concave and the space between these concaves are called as the meatus and then we discussed about the skeleton of the lateral wall. So it has got the bony part and also the cartilaginous part and also soft tissue part. And next we discussed about the blood supply, the venous drainage and also the nerve supply. So it is similar to that of the septum. So this is the end of today's video. This is the end of today's video, for more videos please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon.